A new day on the Chesapeake. Home to our nation's capital, 18 million people, and a series of diverse ecosystems that are at the heart of our nation's inception. Yet despite its proximity to the decision makers in Washington, the bay has been neglected for decades, leaving North America's largest estuary at the end of America's tailpipe. Wastewater, we need to do it in a way that's friendlier towards the bay. And some of the problems are airborne. As Congress prepares to tackle the many Chesapeake challenges, the EPA has set sail with plans to punish polluters and bring water quality back to the bay. We will, in fact, be held accountable for meeting the obligations under the federal, state, and local laws. At EPA, we have already stepped up our enforcement actions. On top of the EPA's commitment to clean up the bay, Senator Ben Cardin has introduced the Chesapeake Restoration Bill to help cope with the estuary's influx of man-made pollutants. This bill will not only reauthorize the Chesapeake Bay program, but will take it to the next level to give the local governments the tools they need in order to clean up the bay. Additional resources will be $5 billion authorization to deal with storm runoff. Also hold the stakeholders accountable to accomplish the goals of this bill, so it would have accountability as well as tools to get the job done. With the Senate set to debate the bill in early 2010, Congress has the opportunity to preserve, protect, and restore the Chesapeake Bay.